You can play as the Silver Shroud in Fallout 4, a mysterious vigilante in the world of Fallout lore. And in this video, I will show you how to get both his unique armor and weapon. Hi, I'm Mo and I'm trapped in Fallout. To get your hand on this particular weapon, you will first need to make your way to Good Neighbor. It is directly far northeast of Diamond City and south of Bunker Hill. Once you make it, what you want to do is go into the memory den. So as soon as you enter Good Neighbor, from here, what you want to do is just go ahead and go inside the memory den. Once inside, what you want to do is go and speak to Kent. So just follow the hallway and then over here, look to your right, there will be a door. Open the door and go and then speak to that ghoul over there called Kent. Go ahead and select the I hear you option and then select the listen to pre-war option and then select the from the past option. And now select the try to remember option and then select the glimmers of hope option and now select the good for you option and now select the i'll get it option so that's what you're... and with that this will start a new quest called the silver shroud so from here what you will need to do is travel to hubris comics where we will get a copy of a prop of the silver shroud armor and once we've got the prop we will need to return to kent and give him the prop and in return he will give you the actual armor alongside a weapon so go ahead and exit the memory den we will now need to make our way to hubris comics it is directly southwest of good neighbor and northeast of diamond city once you make it go ahead and go inside once inside what we will need to do is make it to the very top floor so just follow this wall over here and go through this door over there look to your left go up the stairs and as you go through this door look to your right and from here, just go straight until you hit the wall, look to your right again, go through this door, and then go through this stair. And as you do, and enter this corridor, just go to the very end where it says on the air, go to your left through the door, go up the stairs, and as you look to your west, you should see a prop of the Silver Shroud costume. Now this costume is a prop, it's not the actual final costume. What we will need to do is take this back to Kent, and once we hand this to him, in return he will give us a more advanced version of the costume alongside a weapon. So from here, just go ahead and speak to Kent. What I will do is just skip straight to that part of the video. Now go ahead and hand over the costume and then select the option, believe in yourself. And then select the option, become the shroud. And with that, Kent will give you the silver shroud armor. As part of Kent's reward, he will give you both the silver shroud armor and the silver shroud hat as well as a Silver Shroud minigun. The gun itself isn't really a distinct type of minigun, it's just a standard minigun. It uses 45 type ammo and has a base damage of just 10 with its clip size of 100 and a fire rate of 127. It has a range of 107 with an accuracy of 63. When it comes to perks, what you really want to do is have some ranks in the commando perk as this will increase the damage of automatic weapons. You probably also want some ranks in the bloody mess perk that would increase the damage of this weapon by a flat 5%. You can also invest some ranks in the Mr. Sandman perk as this will increase the amount of damage your weapon does when you use silencers. And lastly, you probably want some ranks in the basher perk to increase the amount of damage you do when using the bashing mechanics. In terms of the armor, well, the armor whilst wearing it will increase your agility and perception by 1%. It also will reduce any damage you take from humans by 15%. If you also wear the hat, it will simply grant you an additional 1 point in perception. The armor itself is a distinct type of clothing. However, it has an amazing damage resistance of 42, both against standard damage and energy damage. When it comes to weight, it only weighs 7 pounds and it has a base value of 600 caps. When it comes to modifications, you have a number of options available. For the receiver, you probably want to go with the powerful receiver, as this will basically increase the amount of damage you do with the weapon. For the barrel, you probably want to go with the short light barrel. Again, this will increase the hit accuracy fire of the weapon. For the stock, you're probably best going with the recoil compensating stock, as this will reduce the amount of recoil that you do with the weapon greatly. For the magazine, again, it's probably best to go with the large quick eject drum magazine, as this will simply increase the amount of ammo that you're able to use per clip size, and this will also include uh, an improvement over the reloading speed of the weapon. 
for the site, I would suggest you go with the reflex site simply because it will make it a little bit more easier to track your enemies. And for the muzzle, I would suggest you go with the suppressor as you would be able to benefit from a number of perks that would increase the damage of the weapon because you've silenced it. Being able to play as the Silver Shroud is a unique way of playing Fallout 4, but did you know that you can also play as another Fallout lore friendly hero known as Grognak the Barbarian? If you want to play as Grognak, then click on the video you see on the screen now as I will show you how to get some of his unique gears.